up, love you, little fam. Hello you guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel if you're new here. Hi, my name is Amanda. Today, we are going to do a little get ready with me. I'm gonna do an updated everyday makeup routine for you guys. This has been so, so, so requested. I'm also hopefully gonna be getting out some other makeup content for you guys. Please ignore how orange I look. I don't really know why it looks so orange on the camera because it's not that bad in person. We got love. We don't love. Also, the nails are tragic. We're also not gonna discuss that. Okay, so as I was saying, um, I am hoping to get some other makeup content out for you guys. During this crazy time, my last post on Instagram was a huge hit. Um, you guys were like, oh my God, makeup look, makeup routine immediately. So, I'm gonna try to get that done for you guys as well, but I figured for this more like everyday, you know, just like chilling around the house, maybe like an everyday makeup routine is like more useful right now, so that's what we're gonna do first. So, um, I am still using most of the same products that I usually do, um, but you guys have been requesting, so we're just gonna give it to you. We are just gonna go ahead and pull the hair back. Also wearing Live Lovely merch. So if you guys want to go check it out, link will be in the description. I also have a sweatshirt, but it's in laundry because I can't stop wearing it. But love her. She's so cute and cozy. And for all of this time lounging, she's perfect. Okay, so we are gonna get started. Um, first, I am going to start out by spraying my face with my Mario Badescu rose water. I'm currently in quarantine day 11 and I'm going nuts. I'm just hoping that my productivity is gonna kick in soon um, before I go nuts. Before I am already nuts. Before I go like clinically insane. Mm hmm. We love. Bill, mom spilled on herself. Only I would have to already change my shirt two minutes into filming because I spilled on myself. Next, I'm going in with my Curology Rich Moisturizer. I really, really like this stuff. Um, I am currently trying out Curology's products, so I will give you guys an update on that. Um, I haven't been using them as religiously as I should be, but I what I do know is that I love their moisturizer and the face wash, um, but obviously it's kind of expensive for you to get everything if that's just what you wanna try, but I really, really like them. <laughs> really like them. Um, you could obviously use any, any face moisturizer. Fresh moisturizer. I am going to be going into the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I really, really like this stuff. I just, oh, that was a lot. Okay, we're. Spreading her around. I hope you guys are doing well and not going crazy. Unlikely, but I hope you are. You're doing well. I have just been so tired for the past 11 days that I just have gotten nothing done. It's driving me crazy. I'm too lazy to get up and dampen my beauty blender right now, if I'm being honest with you. So I'm gonna go ahead and just spray it with some rose water. I'm gonna be using two different foundations right now. Billy's drinking water. Are we shocked? I'm not. Because as you can see, my Neck is orange, okay, and my face is not. So I'm gonna try and like get somewhere in the middle. Plus, I got a color match, but this foundation is still just like really orangey when I put it on, even when I'm fake tanned. Um, so I'm gonna ma mix mix the match a little. Um, this is the Fenty Beauty. This is their hydrating formula. I really, really like it. I love Fenty foundation. It's like my favorite. I'm gonna go in and use the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Wear Foundation. And this is quite a bit lighter, so that'll just hopefully keep me from being too orange. I'm only gonna put like a little dot of this. I don't know if I love this foundation. I got that because I wasn't tan for a while. I was like out of my fake tan products. 
Um, and I thought that I didn't like it. However, I've just come to the conclusion that it's actually the airspun powder that I'm not liking anymore. Um, I don't know if they changed their... Oh my gosh, the color difference is unreal. I don't know if they changed their formula or what, but it's leaving my face looking awful. And it's doing it with the Fenty foundation too, and I know it's not the Fenty foundation. I, yeah, it's, it's happening right after I put on my powder, so it's gotta be the powder. I don't know, if you guys, I asked you guys and I have a few screenshots um, from when I went live on Instagram, but if you guys have some powders that you really, really like, um, comment them down below for me, because I'm definitely in, in the search for another one. Oh, my neck is still like lighter, because this is so dark. But it'll get better um, once I do everything else. So we're gonna go ahead in and highlight now. This is very light, like way too light. Why do I look like this? Like it doesn't really look that bad in person. Is that better or worse? Unsure, what is happening? See the problem is my knuckles are like all holding on to the tan really well but I've washed my hands so many times that it's like everything else is like, no, we're gone, sis. We are out of here. Going in with the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Wear Concealer. More than concealer. Oh, sorry, sis. Don't want to underestimate you. Um, like I said, it's very light. I got this for when I was not tan. But now we are, and so we have to make do. But it's also like I'm really orange, so this like kind of helps balance it all out. So we're just, we're going in with this. Um, if you're wondering, this is, uh, you're probably not, never mind. I was gonna say in the color, maybe I should now that I started, but I didn't say the colors of anything else. This is in the color 340 Fawn. Oh my lord, hey, help me. We're gonna, boop, 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 Brits, and we're going to blend. I think I like this. It's it's a pretty good consistency. Um, I feel like it's like a little bit thicker. I feel like it's more similar to Tarte Shape Tape. Um, if I had to make a comparison, yeah, I would say it's pretty similar to Tarte Shape Tape. And I think it's quite a bit less expensive. I got L'Oreal stuff because it was like buy three, get one free. And so, um, I just got like a L'Oreal foundation, a L'Oreal concealer. We are all blended out nicely now. See, much less um, like a jack lantern, like a lit, like slightly less, I would say. And so now I'm gonna go in. Unfortunately, you know what? I think I have a different powder. I feel like I remember not loving this, but I'm gonna use it anyway. This is the Maybelline Fit Me powder, because actually someone did recommend this, so maybe, maybe I'll like it better, except this is gonna leave me dark because this is dark. And I'm going in with my Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH01 brush. I need to wash my brushes so badly. And then maybe my face won't look so horrifying. It's been looking really bad, like really cakey and like almost broken up on my face. Like it looks like my makeup is like, like separating. It ain't good. It ain't a look. That is for dang sure. I'm gonna get in close, I'm gonna get in close. We're gonna see how we feel. Well, that's scary. Let me get another mirror so I'm not showing you up my nose. I look really cakey, but it's not, mm. yeah, I don't love this but it's not like separating on me, so I guess that's an improvement. I just kind of look cakey instead though. So I don't really know which is worse, but the other one was pretty bad. Like if anyone got close to me, I mean no one was seeing me because I'm like in my house, but I was wearing it that way to school for a while and now I'm like, oh my gosh, I hope no one got very close to my face. Cause I'm sorry. I don't know why my background looks so like cluttered. Like I know I have a bunch of stuff on that shelf, but I feel like it doesn't usually look that bad, but like it's really bugging me. So I apologize if it's also bugging you. Now we're gonna go in and bronze is it face, even though she is already very bronze. So um, I'm gonna go in with um, like three different bronzers just cause we're feeling like it. Um, but this is kind of in what I'm doing. Like not like, 
One of them I don't use daily, but I've used the rest of these for like my entire life. Like I've been wearing this since I was three months old and it's still my favorite actually. So this is the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Light Medium Matte Bronzer. Um, I got literally like 30 of them and when I say 30, I'm not exaggerating. Of these at um, TJ Maxx, they had just a bunch of like sample sizes. So I just like bought all of them because it was like a much better deal. And now I have one like or two in every bag ever. And so it's really convenient. So for this, I just kind of go all over my face and I've gotten hate um, lots in the past for this but like I've just learned that I don't care love me as I am I was gonna put earrings in because that like really pulls the whole look together better and I didn't so here we go one minute I love these earrings they hate me um, I got them from Target it comes in a three pack However, I think it looks weird when you wear all three of them together, or it does on me anyway. So we just wear two, and my third hole is probably closed by this point, because I haven't been wearing earrings in them, and my ears hate me. Okay, look at us. We're so much more put together now. Okay, I need to wash my makeup brush. It's so bad, don't hate me. We're gonna go in. Oh, by the way, I used my Sigma F20 large powder brush for the first bronzer. Big, fluffy, and kind of gets it all over your face. Next, we're gonna go in with the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Medium Deep Matte Bronzer. It's in a different packaging right now. I've had this one forever, because I don't use it that, that much. Um, and I'm gonna be going in with the Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH04 brush to kind of use this to contour. And so, the reason, I'm gonna show you guys another bronzer that I have been using. And the reason I've been using the third one is mostly because I'm almost out of this one and I feel like, let me know if you guys have had this happen to you before. Cause I could be going crazy, but I really don't think I am. When I hit pan on like some products, I feel like it starts to come off, like, like I start to look gray or like metallic-y. Let me know if you feel like that's even possible. Cause I really don't know if it is, but I always find it when I hit pans that I start to like the products less and I feel like I look like grayish. I don't know. I could be going nuts. And so I'm just kind of putting this everywhere, but because I'm like kind of out of it and I don't want to look gray, I have been using this heart um, Park Ave Princess. It is Amazonian clay waterproof bronzer. I did not know that. Waterproof, we love. Okay, and so I'm just gonna tap this on here. This has a little bit of a shimmer to it, um, so that might not be for everyone. I don't always love to use shimmer, but you know, sometimes a little shine in your life doesn't hurt. Oh, dang, okay. And then I'm also going to take it on this little JH08 brush. And I am just going to kind of throw it on my nose. Just to kind of contour it a little bit, nothing crazy. I think I look kind of nuts when I contour my nose, so. We're just gonna like do ever so slight. And I'm looking really like not blended well on the camera, so I'm just gonna go in and kind of blend all this out with that first Sigma brush. Just cause we don't, we like to be blended queens. We don't like any harsh lines. Next, we're moving on to blush. I am using, as always, the Milani, why? I just have such a hard time saying this. I've been using it for 25 years. Um, weird, because I'm only 21, so crazy that I've been using it for that long. The Milani number no. five Lumi. Oh my gosh, why am I still saying it wrong? The Milani baked blush and the You guys should fire me right now. Okay, let's let's try that again. Milani Bates Blush in number five, Luminoso. Thank you, have a good day. Okay, I'm going in with the Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH02 brush. This brush is infamous for leaving bristles on my face. So we're gonna hope and pray that doesn't happen because I never notice until I'm done filming and then I'm like, are you joking? I just filmed 
with a white hair up my nostril for the entire video. We're gonna take a look. Okay, I don't think she did me dirty today. I don't think. Next, we're gonna be going in. I've been using like three highlighters recently. It's kind of like whatever I'm feeling. So I'll show you all three. I have been using my Holy Grail highlighter, the Essence Pure Nude Highlight in the color 10 Be My Highlight. That is how the blush should have come out. Also been using the Laura Geller Gilded Honey Highlighter. And I've also been tapping into the Becca Highlight in the color Moonstone. I think this and the Essence Pure Nude Highlight are similar. So we're gonna tap into Becca today. And I'm going in with my Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH07. Oh my gosh, she's blinding. This is definitely more intense than um, the Essence. But I think around the same, oh my goodness, the aliens are gonna abduct me. Oh my god. Yeah, definitely the same tone as Essence, but much, much more pigmented. So if you're really going for that blinding look, this is the one for you. Also just throwing this in my eyelids. I'm gonna do like a little bit of an eyeshadow look that I've been doing recently. So as I was saying, all my brushes are dirty, so I'm gonna be using weird eyeshadow brushes to do my eyeshadow, so like, you don't need these. Um, I would suggest other brushes, actually. But, um, mine are dirty, and I need to clean them. I am going in with this palette. It's actually by Target. Um, I don't know how much it is. I think probably pretty affordable. Someone that I work with gave me this for a Secret Santa present for Christmas. Um, it's from Target, like I said. It's the I Adore You palette. It's really nice neutrals. I think they're, they're pretty decent quality. I really like the shimmers in it. And that's the main reason why I use this palette so frequently and kind of like for every day because I like the shimmers that they have in it. The um, solids are a little like powdery, but could be worse. So um, for my crease transition kind of everything, I've kind of just been going into these three shades together. Let's see, let me get closer here. This one, this one, and this one. And I'm kind of just throwing those. So we're doing, we're doing all of that. And we're just gonna throw it into the crease. It's kind of a cool toned brown. Let me, let me bring you in here. Let's get close, up close and personal, okay? Um, I apologize for all the pores on my face. So I like these colors because like I said, they're cool toned. I feel like more of the, the browns in the Jaclyn Hill palette are more of a warm tone, which is good for some things, but I feel like sometimes the cool tone with my blue eyes kind of like goes better. And then I'm kind of just continuing to dip into this lighter brown, bringing a little bit of this darker brown in. I don't use a darker brown on an everyday basis, but sometimes if I want to deepen it, I'll throw a little on there and stay more right in the crease. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same on the other eye. I need my eyebrows in so, so, so bad on Quran. So we're just gonna ignore that random little eyebrow there that needs to get plucked. My eyebrow tweezers are broken and I need my eyebrows done ridiculously bad. Going in with the two darker browns. Oh my gosh, she's really showing up on camera there. Get out, sis. We don't want you here. Now that we're about even on both sides, um, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna take a really, really tiny brush here. This is a Morphe Jaclyn, Morphe Times Jaclyn Hill JH42 brush. She don't wanna focus. And I'm gonna go into those two deeper browns and just drag that underneath my lash line. I'm just kind of like rubbing with my 
finger to get any excess off. Now we're gonna go in with the shimmers. This is the real brush where I'm like, don't use this. Like, I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is even for. Okay, okay. Apparently it's a pointed crease brush. This is my Sigma E48. And yeah, I would definitely recommend using it for more uh, in your crease than putting on shimmer on your eyelid. I just messed up these bristles. What is happening? Why did I do that? But we have to make do with what we have. I'm gonna be tapping in to three different shimmers. Yes, I'm psychotic. Uh, this one, this one, and this one, this one, this one, this one. They're all kind of like champagne-y, low, low gold. I love them and they're so pretty when you mix them together. So I am just going to kind of carry this on the inner corner, definitely focus on the inner corner. And then I'm just kind of lightly bringing it onto the lid. Nothing super precise, just kind of onto the lid. Um, so you kind of have like a lazy half cut crease. It's kind of the look we're going for. If you want to make it more precise, you do it up, baby. Oh my gosh, there is lots of glitter in my eyeball. Okay, we're fine, it's fine, everything's fine. This is kind of, like I said, just like a like really lazy kind of half cut crease shimmery pretty glowy look i'm gonna zoom you out for a second but then i'm gonna bring you right back in so these next few steps i am going to keep completely slowed down just because i've gotten so many questions recently on these next two things so i'm gonna be showing you guys how i do my eyebrows and how i apply my magnetic lashes if you guys want to fast forward through these i will put the timestamps on the screen and down below if you're like i know how to do eyebrows i don't need to see how you do yours and if you don't want to watch me put on the magnetic lashes because I already did an IGTV video explaining so. But I figured I'd put it all in one place um, just because this look is pretty like simplistic. A lot of the things are the same so I figured I would help you out at least in some way or another if I could. First we are going to go ahead and do the brows. There doesn't really have to be a specific order that you do this in. A lot of people do their brows first. I, if I'm doing a more dramatic look I like to do my brows first but for an everyday look, I find that I like how they turn out better. I feel like it just meshes better with my makeup if I do them afterwards. So, using the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the color Espresso. So, as you guys saw, I just start by brushing out my brows with the spoolie end. And then I'm gonna go ahead in with a pencil. What I do to start is just underline, I like to call it, the start of my brow, the inner part of my brow. And that's basically all the product that's gonna go in this front half of my brow. I like to keep them fairly natural looking, so that's why I don't like to put product in the front. So, like I said, I'm gonna keep this slowed down so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. So I'm gonna continue to kind of underline my entire brow and kind of fling it out at the end. So, and that's gonna be the end the, the, the end tip of the brow so i bring it ever so slightly further out than my actual brow goes but like basically the same length as my hair kind of grows next i'm gonna go right in here i'm gonna start at this point in my brow and kind of like outline the top part of my brow oh i just brought that out a little far but that's okay, we'll make, it, we'll make it work. I kind of already have somewhat of an arch there, but it's very sparse up there, so I'm kind of outlining the shape that I have, but then I'm gonna go ahead in and fill it in. So, sometimes I just like to go over this line just a few times to fix the shape a little bit. And then next, I'm just gonna use tiny little motions to fill this in and I am going to fill it in basically so it's like completely solid on this outer part so I guess it's not like as natural as I may be making it sound like it's going to look but um, using the brush strokes is going to make it as natural as possible especially when you're moving into the inner part of your brow so I am just ever so slightly moving inward 
but I'm really mainly keeping it out here. I just want to make it look like it's like one, one part. So I'm going to start to ever so slightly bring just a few little strokes inward. Because as you were saying, it was like a very dramatic kind of stop start. And we don't want it to look like that. So sometimes if you really need to, I'll bring some in. It kind of depends on how your brows are working that day. Some days you draw it much lighter and so everything meshes together better. But some days you use a heavier hand like I'm kind of doing today. And you need to bring it inward just ever so slightly. So, but I'm not doing any crazy heavy anything on the inner part because I want to leave that part light and natural looking. And then you can kind of just, you know, play around with it until you get the look that you're going for. I think we're going to stop here for this brow and we're going to go over to this brow. I think brushing through every once in a while is definitely really, really important. So make sure that you're doing that because it's gonna lay your, like the hairs of your brows in a different spot and that might fill different spots in more than others. And you can kind of see if you need more product or if you're ready to stop. I think that's where we're gonna stop with the brows for the, the pencil part. And a lot of the time I like to go in afterwards with this um, clear brow and lash mascara from e.l.f. So I just like to go in and kind of get everything to stay in place. And that is it. I use a really, really light hand with this because you don't want to mess up or like drag any of the products like outside the boundaries of your brows. And remember, brows are sisters, not twins, okay? Next, we're gonna go on to the lashes. So what I'm gonna do is start by putting on mascara. For me, I have always struggled with doing liquid liner. So for me, mascara first really, really helps kind of like guide the line. I'm going in with this Lancome mascara. This was sent to me, it's the Grand Grandois, Grandois. I'm not really sure how to say it, honestly, um, but it's really pretty and I really like how it works. They sent me a bunch of mascaras, so I've kind of just been like going through and trying them all out. When I'm like done with one, I give another one a shot. And I really like this one. Um, so I'm gonna go in and just put mascara, you know, all over my lashes. I know my lashes are kind of a mess. My lashes are always a mess, but I feel like they never look this good with mascara on alone. So, I don't know. I like this mascara a lot. This is what like the tip of it looks like, if that interests you. We're gonna go ahead and throw it on the bottom as well. Oh my God, the US now has more confirmed corona cases than any other nation. Stay home, stay safe. So now that the mascara is done, I'm gonna go in with my Glamnetic Liquid Liner. I wanna just like clarify, I'm gonna zoom out really quick because like you're really close to my face and like we're supposed to be staying six feet apart, social distancing, okay? I'm, you know, joking around, but it's serious, seriously. Social distance yourself. I mentioned something on my Instagram story and I feel like it's 
like hard to get everyone to see everything I post so I just want to say it in multiple spots so I apologize if I'm like repeating myself. I originally said that I was using a different liquid liner, liquid magnetic liner, the House of Lashes one, and it was significantly cheaper. I don't recommend that with the Glammagnetic lashes. Um, I recently repurchased the Glammagnetic liner because I was having a problem with my lashes like not staying on all day, and I felt like I had to keep, like I had to apply more than one coat to get them to stay on, which I was like, okay, I never had to do this, so maybe it's not the same. Um, I definitely recommend using the Glamnetic liner with the Glamnetic lashes. Um, the House of Lashes one might work great for the House of Lashes one, but it just is not as compatible with the Glamnetic lashes. So I get questions all the time, like how to apply lashes, like you can't do it, it's really hard. If you are someone that has a really, really hard time applying lashes and you want to wear lashes, try Magnetic lashes, guys. It's literally life-changing. Even for someone who's like so used to putting on lashes every day and like it's kind of like second nature to me, like I just like do it, I don't even think about it. This is like so easy, like just so, 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 so easy. Makes my life so much easier. I have tried Glamnetic and I've tried the Ardell ones, but the Ardell ones were the ones where it was like two pairs and you had to like stick them together. I did not like those at all. I had, a, I could not figure those out. I thought they were really difficult to use. Um, but for these, it, oh my god, it's so easy. I wear the Lush Lash, and I have them like flipped around in their case right now, but I'm just gonna like show you what they look like so you guys can kind of get an idea. So they have a little bit of makeup on them because I wore kind of like heavy makeup yesterday. Um, but I hope you can see that they have little magnets on them on the band. And so those magnets just stick to the magnetic liner. It's like insanely easy. So. I'm gonna go ahead and just do the wing. You just use this like a regular magnetic liner. Looks like this. And so I am just going right up against my lash line, using it like a regular liner. The tip of this is pretty thin. I guess it's thin on everything. I just feel like it, uh, I don't know. I have to go back to like finish my line, if that makes sense. I don't know, but not the end of the world. Another thing that I have found is, this is pretty thin, so I'm gonna test this today and um, I'm gonna, I'll put on the screen whether this stayed well or if I think it would work better if the line was thicker. I feel like I found that if the line is thicker, it holds better. Um, I don't know if that's all in my head or if that is actually legit. You have to let this dry for between like 20 to 60 seconds um, before you can stick the lashes down. I read on, I don't remember if it's on their box or actually, I think it's actually on this tube and I never read it before. It works better when it's a little tacky. Um, I was waiting for a little while for it to be completely dry. And it definitely does work better when it's a little tacky. So those are good. We're just gonna like, I'm gonna end up breaking this mirror. It's gonna like stab me. It kinda works good, I'm kinda shocked. This one's probably fine. Yeah, this one's good. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and apply this lash. And these are expensive. I will give that to you, or pricey, I should say. Um, they're like 30-ish dollars for a pair, and it's like 30-ish or more for the liner as well. However, they last so much longer than regular lashes, especially if you're not wearing them every day like me. It says they last for 15 wears. I think they last way more. Maybe that's gross and maybe I shouldn't be doing that, but like, I wanna get my money's worth. Um, is this the right side? Why am I like doubting myself? I think it is, okay. So I usually start from the inside. You can do whatever you feel comfortable with and it literally just like grips on. I don't know if you saw that, I hope you did and just like stick it to the line and they literally just stick. 
like it, it works so easy. I kind of placed these weird. I didn't bring my liner in far like usual. So I might go back and um, redo that because they're kind of far out and they look kind of weird. I think I'm gonna redo that. And it does pull off the liner if you rip them off. So you do have to go back and do another line, but it's not the end of the world. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and um, apply this other lash first before it gets too dry. I brought this one in a little bit further. And you also can cut these lashes if you think that they don't fit your eyes properly. I have very large eyes, so I almost never have to cut lashes. Um, so that literally just, it just clicks on so easily. I'll do the other one slower again so you guys can see better. Cause that just, it see, it's like, it just is so easy that I just do it and I just don't even think about it. We will let this dry for a second. And these are very dramatic lashes. They make some that aren't as dramatic. You just, if you know me, you know that there's, I'm not getting anything but dramatic. So we're gonna go in and apply these again. I will try and show you guys to the best of my ability. So I'm gonna start in my inner corner and it literally just connects. Maybe if I try and show you from the top view, it'll be better. Oh my God, I'm not even showing you. I'll try and slow down my other clip because it's just, it's so easy. Like it literally, you just like attach it to the thing. It's, it's very, very simple. I rarely ever have them come up. Like I said, the other magnetic liner kind of did it, but this Glimnetic one works great. I'm not sponsored by them at all. I wish I was, that is, a goal because they're so expensive and I want to give you guys a coupon code. Um, if you can sign up for their alert texts, they send you out alerts when they're having sales. They have sales pretty frequently. I recommend waiting for a sale. They, a lot of the time, either have like 30% off or 40% off or a few, like a week ago, they had a really good sale. It was like buy two pairs of lashes, get a liner free, like they have good deals. So definitely wait for a deal if you wanna try them out. But I will put the link in the description for you guys if you want to check them out. And also follow me on Instagram because if I get alerts for good deals, I'll post them for you guys. I'm trying to post more links and deals and stuff like that. Let me know if that's something that you guys are interested in me posting on my Instagram. Um, I feel like that's what I like to see in other influencers. Like I like when they tell me about deals and when they have links to stuff, whatever. So let me know if that's something that you guys would be interested in me sharing with too. So we are now done with the makeup. We just have to go in and fin actually, are we gonna do a lip? We're gonna do a lip. I'm gonna go ahead and use this All May um, Go Wild. It says it's a matte lipstick, but it's like creamier. And it's, I feel like similar to, I guess not similar to my lip color, but like a good nude, like for uh, my kind of tones. The lip is on, we're gonna go ahead and finish it off with the setting spray. I use the Kat Von D Locket setting spray. I really, really love this. It helps keep my makeup in place all day long. And that is going to be the finished everyday makeup look. It's kind of like a glam everyday makeup look. I know that most people don't wear this much makeup on an everyday basis. So that is going to be it for this makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I'm going nuts because I um, wanted to get ready and film this before I um, did a, another video. Um, the next video that I'm filming is going to be like a loungewear haul with Boohoo. And like I have a few other things from different brands thrown in there. Um, it's not sponsored. I like just ordered a bunch of stuff and I'm so excited for you guys to see it all. So, um, that will be up already because I'm probably gonna edit it and upload it like tonight because I can't wait any longer and I haven't seen any of the stuff yet. I'm making myself wait and do like a live unboxing. So, I wanted to film this for you guys and I hope you enjoyed it. If you guys did enjoy it, be sure to give it a big thumbs up for me. Comment down below some other videos you wanna see from me. Um, I'm hoping that with this whole like weird school situation, 
online schooling, I'm going to have more time to film stuff for you guys and get more content up. So that is definitely a plus side to all of this. And I'm hoping to keep you guys entertained as well while you're at home and having a mental breakdown like I am. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you are not subscribed already, be sure to click that subscribe button down below. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss when I post a video. I'm not going to have like a set upload schedule. I think that I stress myself out more having a set schedule and I almost upload more when I don't have it. Like which is weird and doesn't make any sense but we're going to leave it at that. This is like a crazy time for all of us right now and I am just trying to get into a schedule and used to it just as much as you guys are. Um, so, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss when I post a video. Also, head over to Instagram and follow me at AmandaLouiseYT. I am going to be trying to post for 30 days straight on my Instagram and I've also been trying to be way more active on there. I'm going live, posting on my stories, all kinds of stuff like that. I'm also going to be trying to start linking things on the Like to Know It app. Um, so if you guys like to use that with other influencers, I'm going to be starting to do that. And also, the reason I haven't started using Like to Know It yet is because they don't have a lot of the brands that I wear. So I'll be linking things when I can. And if not, I will be linking them in my stories for swipe ups. So be sure to follow me over there for lots of content and hopefully like outfit inspo and some other stuff as well. Also, when I go Live, I talk to you guys for literally hours like Instagram kicks me off and I like come back on several times so um, we have a lot of fun over there I respond to every single comment that you guys post on there so if you guys want to interact with me get your like burning questions answered um, head over and join a live with me I also want to hear some other things that you guys want me to incorporate into my Instagram so if there are other things that influencers do that you guys like and you want me to do be sure to comment them down below and let me know um, because I want to I want to expand. I also have a podcast that I post every week on. A new episode goes up every Monday and it's called Living Lovely with Amanda Louise. So you guys can stream it on any platform that you find your podcasts on. I will have the links down below for all of like the main ones. You guys can also join my Facebook page, Amanda's Lovely Little Fam. It is the greatest group of women on the internet. I swear you guys are amazing and have created such a little such a positive little community over there. It makes me so happy to get your messages and like to see your posts that you guys are just like loving the Facebook page. It seriously makes me so, so, so happy. So um, be sure to join and be sure to answer all the questions um, that they ask you when you want to go and join. Um, so I'm sure to accept you. I will not accept if you guys don't answer the questions. So be sure to do. They're super easy. If you know me at all, you'll know them. And if you don't, just be like, I am new here. I'm, I'd want to join. I'll still accept you. And also, there are some rules when you guys join, so be sure to read the rules of the group just because there have been some problems recently. We don't want to deal with the problems, so just read the rules. They're super easy to follow. And I also have a Twitter that I post randomly on. If you guys want to follow me on that, it's Amanda Louise YT, like all of my other social media. And I'm also starting to post on TikTok, kind of, at Amanda Louise YT as well. It's embarrassing. I feel way too old for it. And I'm not like sure how much longer or what I'm actually gonna do, but you guys have requested it, so coming through with the requests. All right, I love you guys endlessly. Thank you so, so, so much for watching again. I hope you're not going crazy. I'm hoping I'm like kind of hoping you keep your sane. I don't know. I'm trying my best. I love you guys so much. Until the next video, stay blessed and don't forget to live lovely. Bye.